black holes is evidence of God's care. You have to be living in a big spiral galaxy for advanced light to be possible, but the bigger the galaxy, the bigger the black hole in its core, and the more dangerous it is. But for a variety of reasons, our Milky Way galaxy has a black hole that's 40 times smaller than it should be. It's the only big galaxy that's got such a tiny central black hole, and it's because we've had no major merger event with a dwarf galaxy in the last 11 billion years that we have such a tiny black hole. And what's interesting too is you go back a million, two million years ago, it was consuming big asteroid and comet-like bodies. Today, it's consuming tiny ones. And so during the human era, we have a very quiet, small, black hole in its core. And likewise, the Andromeda galaxy, which is another big spiral galaxy, its supermassive black hole is the right size, 40 times bigger than one in our Milky Way galaxy. But currently, it's in the quietest phase it's ever been. If it wasn't, we wouldn't be able to have this podcast. Really? And likewise, look at all the other supermassive black holes in the vicinity of our Milky Way galaxy. It's all designed in such a way that we can safely exist here on planet Earth. And yet, many of the elements in your body that are essential for you to live, they're only constructed when neutron stars merge together to become black holes. So if you don't get adequately exposed our solar system to black holes when it's forming, we won't have the heavy elements you need to have human beings.